Now, Jeremy Clarkson remains under fire this morning uh, for comments he wrote in The Sun this weekend about Meghan Markle. Uh, he said, at night, I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she is made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Uh, Royal editor Russell Myers is here. It's a, a sort of, I mean, it's a grim, dark, fantasy about punishing a woman and humiliating her for just speaking. Absolutely. It's extraordinary. <clears throat> it is extraordinary. And I think um, given the backdrop of the Netflix series, Harry and Meghan last week, them talking about being attacked by certain uh, sections of the media. I mean, you know, it's all there, isn't it? I mean, it's well, just... it proves the point. It really does. It if entirely. he was trying to counterbalance, he's done the wrong thing because it's an own goal because it's literally, Megan saying, this is what I suffer, there you go. Exactly, and straight away as well. I mean, just a couple of the points from his uh, piece. He wrote that he despises the Duchess of Sussex on a cellular level. He said, I hate her. Not like I hate Nicola Sturgeon or Rose West. I hate her on a Rose West level. being a serial killer. Uh, a child killer. I mean, this is just absolutely awful. I mean, he says, uh, also, he goes on to say that uh, Meghan used vivid bedroom promises to turn Harry into a warrior of woke. He, he, he goes further, he says, uh, that everyone who is his age thinks the same way. But what makes me despair is that young people, especially girls, think she's pretty cool. So, understandably, huge backlash uh, towards Joe Well, he's Clarkson losing friends, isn't and he? Son. Well, he is. I mean, you know, just uh, the backlash has come from people who actually know him. I mean, our very own Carol Vorderman said um, that not on any level Level, she wrote on Twitter, in any circumstance, is it OK to write this stuff about any woman? And absolutely no to everybody who, th who my age who thinks the same. John Bishop, the comedian, also went in and said, it is a blatant appeal to incite humiliation and violence on a woman. And a more interesting, I think, his own daughter, Emily Clarkson, who is a... Jeremy Clarkson's daughter. Yes, uh, Jeremy mm. Clarkson's daughter, who is huge following on Instagram and TikTok, uh, always talking about body positivity. She said, you know, I want to make clear that I stand against everything my dad wrote about Meghan Markle and I remain standing in support of those that are targeted with online hatred. Uh, well, everybody has their view on what's been said and whether it's dangerous or not, but uh, we have reached out to both The Sun um, and uh, they said they're not going to comment. We've reached out to Jeremy Clarkson's team, I suppose, um, and uh, we haven't heard back. Uh, from him uh, or his team yet this morning. Uh, it is moving on also reported that Harry and Meghan are looking for a sit-down summit. Yeah, well, they've got it from all sides at the moment, haven't mm. they? I mean, there's... Uh, the, the With the dust, royal family. The, the, the dust one, will yeah. settle a little bit after this big Netflix series. We haven't had any response from the royal family. Uh, I wouldn't have expected one. I didn't think it was as explosive as the Oprah Winfrey interview. However, I think they need some sort of mediation between the two parties, don't they? Because, you know, there's an awful bit, a lot of mudslinging, there's an awful lot of uh, people feeling very put out by the other side. And uh, they, they kind of do need to come together in order to seek a resolution, whether that will happen in the near future is um, anyone's guess. But he's got his book coming out, so I'm not quite sure how <laughs> this is going to go down. No, Apparently, exactly. do you know anything about the book? Have you seen a pre-copy of no it? No pre-copies. We don't think it's being serialised. It's out on January the 10th. It is called what Spare. What more could there be to say well, other than there who will made be. those potentially racist comments Precisely, about the baby, yeah. right? We didn't, That's what we, everyone's waiting we for. We didn't have that in the Netflix series. I do think there will be more explosive content do in you? it. Do you? Because I think it will be more about his personal journey to where he's, he's found himself. The Netflix series was very Megan heavily heavy. centred yeah. on the press as well and mm. their treatment from sort of British media. So this might be more family orientated. Yeah, so OK. Watch this space. Well, you're being kept very busy. And, of course, we <laughs> have the first ever King's Speech yes. on TV in the yeah. TV era. Yes, we it's do. It's kind of is... an incredible thing. I'm excited about it, actually, to watch well, it. Well, you should be, because this is something to be excited about. I think, you know, when uh, the King did his first speech to the nation and did the world after the late Queen's passing, it was one of togetherness. I mean, he referenced his darling mama. He spoke about the fact that he wanted his, his family to, to come together and to, to help him on his journey. So, interestingly... It's been recorded, hasn't it? It has been recorded yes. last Tuesday at Buckingham Palace um, before the last latest fallout of the Netflix series. But, I, again, I, again, people I've spoken to, we don't know the, the full content of it, <laughs> but you can bet your bottom dollar it'll be about togetherness, the late Queen, Harry and Meghan might get a mention, and uh, just about unity, I would say. So yes. maybe that will be the olive branch to bring the other Well, it was interesting the at table. the Royal Carol service at Westminster yes. Abbey. You were working, I got I to go. <laughs> <laughs> and they talked... Uh, William did a reading 
thing. I think it was from, was it from an old It was from the Queen's speech, speech in 2012, yeah. All About Togetherness. All About yeah. Togetherness. And I think people were thinking, well, you're, are you making a point here? You know, it's, it's very interesting. Nothing happens it? by accident, I'm always told. So I imagine he was. Everything is organised. Uh, Royal Russell, as I like to call you, thank, thank you so you. much. There's always more to talk about, there isn't is. there?